of your way. Will you take about five seconds and tell him if, now, if he if he did nothing for you, don't you do nothing? But I need your thank you to match his goodness. Yeah.
you chose me. Get that in your spirit. Listen, you are only here because he wanted to. That's it. That's it. There's nothing deep about that, but there's something good about it. You are only here because he wanted to. He got other options. But because he chose.
conversation was, but I said thank you. And somebody returned and said, what, what, what are you thanking me for? And I believe heaven is just like that. When grace has given us something we don't deserve, he's telling us thank you. And at some time I look at God, what are you telling me thank you? I don't deserve your thank you. But every day, all day, he's just saying thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. When he protected you from that accident, thank you. That's all he said was thank you. And that's why we turn around and say this cliche, if I have 10,000 tongues. If I have 10,000 tongues, I can't thank you. Because all day, he's just telling us. So I find myself every day, all day, just because I got some thank yous I owe him. I got some thank yous I owe him. So every now and then I just sit down and say, thank you, 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 thank you. Thank you, 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 thank you. is giving a, a posture of thanks to him. Yes. That's all it is, is to tell God thanks. thanks. Because remember, he's looking for a reflection of him in the earth, and so I believe one of the reflections is basically thank you. Mm -hmm. All right, all right let's, let's just jump into this. Will you help me thank God for Minister Sean and Felicia and all of you. with us and uh, we're going to hear more from her. I've known her for some years and I'm just honored. You, you just don't know when you have uh, uh, awesomeness in your presence. Yeah. Yeah. For a lady who sung all over the world to be standing at this little old church just to sing with us. <laughs> you, you don't know how honored you are. Okay, can I, I, I told y'all one day we, somebody, the, the city going to know our name. Yeah. One day my neighbor gonna go have a wrong song, wrong place, wrong, but the neighbor gonna know my neighbor. Wrong, wrong, wrong song. Pray for me, pray for me. But just realizing that God is favoring yeah. us. Yeah. So we are thankful. Yeah. So we are honored. Thank you for coming and bless us. And so also you guys, and I know I'm gonna get in trouble for this, but I, I think it's worth it. Uh, he already looked up, you already know about the call him out. We, we, we have people who are, God is just favoring us. And we are grateful for that. Uh, working in the sound booth, he's helping yeah. Elijah, he's helping Monte. Uh, there's Brother Robbie Cunningham. Yeah. Don't clap, don't clap, don't clap yet. Yeah. God is clapping because he's here, but you don't know who he is. That's right. Yeah. I told you, I know people. The man is the backup singer for Pat and the I told you, may I put your hands up? And so uh, thank you uh, to the Geek Ministry. Thank you to them just making sure we look beautiful inside and out. Come on, help us. Thank God for the Thank God for the new entry team. Thank God for them coming on every Sunday. We thank God for them. Amen. And so uh, let's just get it. I want to also thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you for allowing me the opportunity uh, to go right around the corner to celebrate my birthday. <laughs> yes, thank you. I was able to go to a land flowing with milk and honey. 
a Mexican thing, but it was slow. But it was like, oh, yeah. I thank you for the opportunity. That was my first time actually going out of the country and not on a cruise. And so I, I appreciate you guys and thank you. Thank you, baby boy. I, I will kiss you, but we're going to have to take an intermission for church. Okay, all right, let's go, let's go. And so, uh, and so we thank you guys. And so um, as we, uh, just a few announcements, we'll get in and out of your way. Um, next Sunday, somebody say next Sunday, next Sunday. Next Sunday, you want to bring your, uh, other than Giorgio, because you know Giorgio's spirit, bring, bring your Christmas sweaters, your socks, and your hats. Bring, bring your ugly sweaters. Uh, David used to wear them all year long. Remember David used to wear those ugly sweaters all year? And so, uh, so yeah, yeah. So bring your Christmas sweater, uh, uh, Christmas socks. I already got some socks, Dominique, because he think he got the best socks in the world, but I already got. And your Christmas hat if you want to. So next Sunday, next Sunday, we're going to bring uh, that's happening on next Sunday. Don't forget uh, our soul for soul as you yes, walk in. Yes. Uh, there are shoes, and they are going quickly. Yes, they are. They're going, so if you have some nice, gently used winter shoes, uh, we ask that you bring them so that we can continue to be a blessing to our community. Well, you uh, can buy new shoes, too. They don't have to be gently used. If you are blessed in that area where you can go buy some new shoes for someone, this please. Just, I talk that side of that, because that's the one side. <laughs> <laughs> Those that can. <laughs> we also welcome new shoes. Stir it. Stir it. So let's get ready. Be on the lookout for that. On Monday, 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 me get ready for the Zoom Boom Room. Amen. On Monday. Amen. I got one. one, 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 one. Yeah. So, so, so if, if you have about that uh, tomorrow, come and get your dance fitness on. Come on. Yes, dance fitness will come. Hey, it's at 7 p.m. Us, uh, have this response 
I am thankful to be alive. Can we go a little deep this morning? Just a little bit better. Uh, if I can help you right here in terms of growing. When you get to a place of maturity in Christ, that should not be your grateful thing. Okay, okay. All right. Don't look at me in that tone. Don't look at me like that. Pastor, what do you mean by that? Because um, when you get to the place wherein I am in God and God is in me, I am not just thankful to be alive. Okay, okay. Because at the end of the day, if the Bible be true, our whole goal in living is to get close to him. Amen. That one day we will be in his presence. Okay, okay, okay. Right. So, so this, this around, I don't think we had something this year, which was probably the first time in a long time, uh, we had actually family Thanksgiving because our kids are older now, and somehow their friends' schedule get in front of ours. <laughs> so, so sometimes what happens is that you know we'll tell you know Monte, you know, hey baby, we're gonna do this for family. Well, I gotta go with Jay, and I'm like, wait a minute, wait, wait. <laughs> so I'm starting to feel some kind of way, but then I learned, wait. The less time, but okay, it's been. So watch the box itself, so, um. <laughs> so, we sit at the table, mother, and, and while at the table, I can't, the Lord dropped this in my spirit. Watch this. Um, I am not thankful to be alive for me. Lay in, lay in. Let us visit together. I am thankful to be alive for family. Come here, come here, lead in, lead in. Because I am almost to the place where if he take me home, it is well. Come here, come here. Um, so I don't thank God that I'm alive because one day in his presence, Will be worth all the hell. Yeah. Yeah. He don't hurt. So, 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 my prayer is not God. Thank you that I'm alive because I found the answer. My prayer is thank you for family and friends who are unsaved that they are alive. Mm. Mm. That's good. Yeah. That's good. Okay. Okay. Good because now, by them waking up in the morning. That they have a chance to get to know Jesus Christ. Because I'm already made that choice. So now my prayer is different. Yes, I am thankful because that's another opportunity to get it better. That's another opportunity to get right. But, but I also thank God because when my children wake up, because they have an opportunity to have grace yeah. on their own. Yeah. Yeah. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Come here. Um, Deron and Monte, come here, baby. Come here, come here. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Deron tried to go all the way around. <laughs> all right. Well, this is good. This is good. All right, so these, these are my babies that are here. Okay, all right. So, when they are at home, all right, I want y'all to catch this. When they're at home, there are certain things, come on, mom, there are certain things, and y'all get behind us, there are certain things as parents we can protect them from. All right, yeah. All right. So therefore, when we parent, we can, y'all try to, no, 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 y'all like me, don't try to break off my vagina. <laughs> so as parents, all right, we try to prevent them right. from getting into any danger. Right. 
And this is exactly what she do all the time. <laughs> Can we go here? Can we go there? Can we go to this person's house? Can this person come to our house? And, and, yeah, yeah. And then if she want to have her way, this is what she do. She, daddy. Oh, man, okay, yeah. I, I know what that means. So watch this. This is what we call parental breaks.
cried out saying, this is the one I spoke about when I said, he who comes after me has surpassed me because he was before me. Mm -hmm. mm, that's a poem right there, Dominique, right here. That's, 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 he's a poet and didn't know it. Watch this, watch this. Verse 16, watch this. Out of his fullness, we have received, we have all received grace and place of grace. Already, mm -hmm. again, again, mm -hmm. out of his fullness, we all have received grace in place of grace already given. Mm -hmm. For the law was given through Moses, grace and truth came through Jesus Christ. No one ever, no one has ever seen God but the Son, but the one and only Son who is himself God and his closest relationship with the Father has made him known. Somebody said, grace. grace. So we said before, the lady said it because she's a little smart, um, that, that grace changed from the Old Testament to the New Testament. Right? So, so now grace is action. So in other words, in the Old Testament, uh, Peter, in the Old Testament, they showed their appreciation Okay, uh, by the sacrificial lamb. Mm -hmm. So, so that that's according to the law that that was a duty, All right? So they showed their grace in the Old Testament by way of duty. When Jesus Christ came, it's no longer duty now; it's devotion. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, okay. So, in other words, in the Old Testament, you had. To, it was by law you had to go to the synagogue. By, by law you had to go to the priest. By law you had to do it. It was a duty. I'm going to church out of duty. My mm -hmm. this. And, and might I suggest there are some people right now who only come to church out of duty. So, so, so some people are living in the Old Testament. Mm -hmm. They come to church because I, I, got, I got to go out of duty. Mm -hmm. But when the New Testament came, it's the, I'm not going out of duty, I'm going out of devotion. Yeah. Yeah. So now grace is no longer by law, it's not I want to do it. Yeah. Yes. Okay, okay, okay. So, 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 they, they didn't have what we call the Christ grace mm -hmm. right. then because he was not yet born. So all right, so all right. We do y'all still have the, the pictures of the fire extinguisher? Uh, okay, all right. So remember we showed that the fire extinguisher. Nobody in their right mind just gonna take this at fire extinguisher and just start. It is there for a reason, right? And the event of. Okay? Yeah. Other than Duran, nobody goes and put a band-aid. Oh, <laughs> 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 because Kim Kim's will, love, love. They, they will take this band-aid and just put it on because they think they got cut. Mm -hmm. And then when you really get cut, you know. Mm -hmm. here, 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 here's another one. All right. So, so we, we trust this thing called airbag. It is there in the event. And you're just trusting that it's in there because the manufacturer says that. Mm -hmm. Now, nobody in their right mind is going to take off the stairwell cover to see get the airbag. Right. <laughs> and, and, and that is what grace is. Paul says, should we just keep on sinning because grace is there? Should, should we just keep on spraying the fire, the fire extinguisher because it's there? Should we just keep on opening up the airbag because it's there? Should we just keep on wasting the band-aids because it's there? No, I, no, 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 no. And so that's what grace is. We just go keep on wasting it because he gives it to us every day. Okay, so so around Thanksgiving, I remember we were growing up and we were around the table, and I remember this one year. Uh, remember this week we asked the kids what were they grateful for and so. Yeah. This is when they were younger. 
Yeah, good, because right now, remember, they don't, they don't hang out with us around here. <laughs> Christmas is a little different. It's like, uh, we ain't got to buy them and just get them the money now. Yeah. Like, it's like, they just, just, it's almost nice, but it's not. Okay, anyway, so, so. <laughs> Because I remember one year, so I think it was around Christmas time, uh, the kids, we gave, we gave the boys remote control cars. Mm -hmm. They got remote control cars. <laughs> and then, uh, hold on, hold on, I think I, I got, I got one. Oh, I got one. <laughs> now, it was almost like this, that these were, that these were, these were nice ones. And so, the thing about remote control cars, oh, let's do it, okay, so, so remote control cars, they got excited, Dominique, about the cars. Mm -hmm. So, they, they were excited about the cars, and, and, and uh, one thing I forgot, <laughs> so you, you got the remote, and so they were so excited about just the cars mm -hmm. that they didn't even think about the batteries, and neither did I. Mm -hmm. So I'm glad they got to think about that stuff now. Just give them the money, they can buy it themselves. So I said, why that? So Deron was upset <laughs> that he could not play with his car. So it was no longer important to him. The excitement was on. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Chris, on the other hand, he got so excited, he started <laughs> pushing. Come here, come here. He, he started pushing the car. He was like, zoom and zoom and zoom. And. <laughs> so, so, the next day, I went and got some batteries. Forty dollars and it were batteries. <laughs> I went and got batteries, and 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 I went I went and got the batteries. I gave it to the boys, and, and they put the batteries in the car. Deron, his started working. He just zoom, zoom, zoom. Chris, car, no longer work. <laughs> <laughs> Might I suggest that this is how some of us are? Life is okay. It looks beautiful. But it's nothing without and this is grace. Our lives we, and, and so he put the batteries in it did not work and then we looked at the instructions. It is, it, it is not to be used without the battery. Do it again. It, it should not be pushed without the batteries. It should not be operated without the batteries. You, you will destroy the toy if you don't have the batteries. Lean in, lean in, lean in, lean in. Might I suggest some of us are trying to operate on our own without grace? Some of us, some, some, some of us, uh, we, we're trying to do it on our own, not realizing the thing that's operating us, the thing that's keeping us together is, is grace. It is his grace. And I know we don't have it in music, but can you take seven seconds and thank God for his grace? Come on, his grace kept you from the accident. His grace allowed you to be here today. Oh, you have to look at somebody, you can't look at nobody but yourself and say, thank God for his grace. Thank God, and listen, I thank God for his grace. God for this grace we put in up right here. I'm glad Dre not here for that one right there. I'm glad Dre and those ones that you don't even know.
except for the service. <laughs> all right, all right, so, 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 so. It is our grace. It's the grace of God. So, 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 um, the, the, the verse says, grace for grace. Grace for grace. Verse 16, out of his fullness, we have all received grace in the place of grace. We receive faith in the place of faith already given. So can I go back to go ahead, Wednesday? Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> so on Wednesday, hopefully you was in the Bible today is not, you need to go back and look at it. But one of the things that um, someone asked was, can grace be replaced? Like, do you just give one grace? Can it be replaced? So at first we were like, you don't have unlimited, you don't have unlimited grace. It does not say that in the Bible that you have unlimited grace. However, we did say once you come to Christ, once you are saved, He gives you another chance at grace. So, so, so we use the illustration, and I wish Angel and Tina was here with my hands. <laughs> so, can you imagine? Just imagine. Imagine, imagine this. Use your imagination. I'm going to take a few people a little longer back over here. Holy Spirit active. Holy Spirit active. Okay. So, so, use your imagination. A big rubber band. A big rubber band. And, and at some point, if you keep stretching this band, that band is going to pop. Now, the Bible says that we all are given the free gift, a measure of grace. Mm -hmm. It is God's gift to us. Mm -hmm. He determines how much he wants to give grace. Amen. I'm sorry. And everyone does not have the same mm -hmm. measure no, they don't. of grace. Okay, because you know some people who did the exact same thing I said a couple weeks ago. Some people did the exact same thing you did. Matter of fact, they did less. But they're not here. Mm -hmm. yeah. But you did. Okay, me, my mommy, my mommy. I ain't gonna talk about you, babe. I ain't gonna talk about you, my Don't worry, I ain't gonna do I did worse than some people I know. But for whatever reason, he chose to still have me here. Why? Because he wanted to. Come here, come here, come here. Because at the end of the day, it was his choice. Now, some people can say, well, Pastor, that ain't fair. Okay, do we really want to be fair? <laughs> do we really want fairness? Because it wasn't fair that somebody paid a debt. Come on. So, so let's talk about, do, do we really want? So, so we showed the different bands, Tina and Angel. We, we showed the bands where the two bands, there were different widths. So you can't look at where if they get away with it, I can't know that you don't know what your band is about to pop. Right. Right. So if nothing else, okay, 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 okay. If nothing else, mm -hmm. you should be happy for your band. Mm -hmm. Bands make a band. Dominique, lay back. Band, 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 band. But because your, your, your band is your grace. Mm -hmm. And every time you get a moment to thank God for your grace that you were given, Every now and then, every now and then, when I think about the grace that's given, listen, look, look Pastor, I, oh, I can't dance like everybody. If you can't do nothing else, but I, I don't care what. Every now and then, when I think, listen, church, a few seconds, of the goodness of Jesus and all. Listen, 
and that. That's best. If nothing else, you don't get nothing outside of this series. Amazing grace should be something totally different. Amazing grace. How sweet the sound. Amazing thanks. How sweet the sound. In other words, how sweet the sound. The sound of his thanks is amazing to me. It is amazing. To think that he's telling me, thank you. Okay, 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 okay. Go ahead. No, so we also know that it's considered unforeseen grace. Mm -hmm. That's good, unforeseen grace. Okay. So we already kind of know. You're not really, well, some of us may be expecting it. You shouldn't be. Because again, you don't know when he's going to not give you grace, right? So unforeseen grace, that means not anticipated or predicted, right? So we automatically get things going to get great. But what about that kind of grace that you really, I mean, you really are like, wow, kind of grace he gave you? How about that wow kind of grace? That wow grace, that grace that- Meaning you know, like, oh my, like really God? Like, Unforeseen, maybe blind spot kind of grace. Mm. So I'm gonna just tell you this quickly. You know, as you know, we went to Cancun. Me Mexico, not Mexico, Mexico, Mexico. Mexico. <laughs> thank you, thank you very much. <laughs> and we stayed at a resort that was like maybe 45 minutes from the airport. So it was very, it was kind of secluded, mm -hmm. pretty much secluded. And we get back, and I think maybe a couple of days ago, he finds out that. Uh, resort maybe five minutes from where we were, end up having Mexican cartel yeah. Ooh, yeah. there shooting up yeah. outside yeah. at the beach. Yeah. 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 So even more of a wow was one of my coworkers lived in Mexico. And she said, how was your trip? I said, oh, we good. She's like, yeah, because I made sure I was watching the news while you were there. I'm like, I should have been there. See, see, listen, 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 listen. <laughs> Watch it. Listen. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Talk, so I'm getting it. So watching the news. I'm like, oh, okay. And I'm like, um, yeah, we were good. You know, she's like, yeah, because she's like, I didn't want to scare you. She's like, there's a lot of turf wars going on over there. And I wanted to make sure you were good. So since I didn't hear anything from you, I assumed y'all were okay. So kind of find out they got turf wars going on over there. And Tulum, we were. Just hanging out, just, just, just <laughs> oblivious to what's going on. We went to a shopping center and they had army fatigue with rifles. And we're like, we think that's the norm over here. Like, yeah, oh, okay, okay. That's, that's, that's I'm high five the guy with the gun. I'm just, I'm just walking, just chilling. We're like, okay, maybe it's normal. So we just, but it's because. <laughs> these back roads and it was like the roads are not I mean, it's not like I mean it's not, we think okay they need to clean these roads up Jeff they was a boot well which is an highway thank God so it's a just, but I mean when you see like big holes like like a car just fall in there like, like tire kind of holes and when you're there every now and then you just see this guy standing with a rifle again I mean like like mm -hmm. Like Marvin Chambers type of rifle, like big Georgia type rifles. And we thinking, okay, it's just normal because, you know, our police got a little beat on this side, John. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking, okay, it's just because of different, not 
not realizing we are, and, and then late night, we just walk. <laughs> yeah, we didn't go out at night to just let y'all know. But you know what they say? You got the people out there. And then not realizing that grace. Grace is just covering. That, that is that unforeseen grace. That, that, that is that grace that, you know what? Serendipitous grace. Serendipitous. That's when good stuff happened to me. And I won't even look for it. <sighs> that, that, that's, that's when God says, you know, I'm looking over here and he just, oh, bless the name of the Lord. <laughs> I uh I was doing something, um, I don't know what I was doing, but I, I was in between blessings. So, I, I never declare I'm broke. As a matter of fact, you wanted to see me looking broke. That's right. That's right. In between blessings. I, I was in between blessings. And so, and so, I'm hanging in between, I'm just hanging out, and I was checking my emails for something, and it was a PayPal message. And I was like, I haven't looked at my PayPal in about, I don't know. I said, let me just go log into it because I don't know, maybe. I don't know. I, mean, I don't know why. So I opened up the PayPal. My picture was so cool, Jazz. Get out of here. Take your picture all the time. So watch this, watch this. <laughs> so I opened up PayPal, and there inside PayPal was sitting over $200. Hmm. I said, well, so now, you know, we get, but where did that come from? To, and then that there is one of my buddies. He, he just every now and then, and I wasn't aware, he didn't let me know he was doing it. Mm. Every now and then he would just drop something. And I was like, I kind of got mad because I was like, I've been sitting in between this blessing. <laughs> <laughs> I've been sitting between a rock and a hard place <laughs> for almost a month. Yeah. Wait on my fixed income to get unfixed. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I know what you think. <laughs> and I've been wishing that something was between this bread and all I could have, he could have just told me. Yeah. I was mad at George Orbe. I was mad at this guy for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> but then I began to say, you know what? I thank God. Yeah. Yeah. Because watch this. Had I got it earlier. Yeah. Yeah. I, got, I would have probably split it early. But it came just when I needed it yes. the most. Ain't that just like God? He is serendipitous. Augustus, okay, okay. I heard you. I heard you. It's S E R E N D I T I T O U S. <laughs> Look it up, that's called Google. Some of you choose Google and God anyway, go to Google. That's what you always do when you Google the Bible. Okay, watch this. Augustus Hippo, at the early day, called it preventive grace. Meaning that God is preparing a way. God is preparing before you even know you need a way to be prepared. <laughs> Huh. Remember, he went to your ending mm -hmm. and came back. Yes. That's why it's so good to trust mm -hmm. and follow him. Amen. He went to your ending and came back. Because he knew that there would be a trap right there. Yeah. But if you trust him, he already knew. A win and I want to give you a, I guess a real life example of this preventative grace. 
So if you've ever been to a pool or to the beach, you see a lifeguard. Mm -hmm. And of course, your parents said, with a lifeguard. So of course, he probably tells us better than I can. But a lifeguard is there as a preventive measure, preventing from drowning. They get trained to make sure that they're able to save a person that is drowning. They're not in a position of being able to save themselves. If you are drowning, no matter how hard you're trying to tread to keep up, remember there's a lifeguard there to make sure you do not drown. The lifeguard is grace. God is grace. You may feel like you're drowning. You cannot tread water. You are hardly able to breathe. But he will not let you drown. He will not let you drown. He will not let you sink. You feel like you're sinking in your sin. You feel like you're sinking in your situation. But there is grace. There is grace to get you out of that feeling of sinking, that feeling of drowning. Know that there is preventive grace there. You just got to know it's there. A lot of people don't realize it's there because they are, they're in a situation and they're not even looking at that they have. Thinking about my time as a lifeguard, there was always more than one lifeguard on duty. Reason being, Mother Elder Barbara Turner, <laughs> was because just in case one lifeguard got tired, there was another there to assist. I remember of the incident at the beach. One lifeguard, he was swimming and he caught a cramp. Yeah. Trying to rescue. Him. He caught a cramp trying to rescue. So now I have to go rescue the rescue. <laughs> and watch this. The good thing about our lifeguard, he don't have to swim in water. Mm -hmm. My life gone. Yeah. Oh. 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 Listen, baby, your lifeguard ain't gonna catch a cramp trying to swim too. Mm -hmm. Your lifeguard walks yeah. on the very thing that you're about to drown in. Hello, can y'all hear me now? Okay. Your lifeguard. <laughs> your lifeguard can walk on your troubled waters. Yeah. 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 I was sinking. Yeah. Deep in sin. Far from the peace. Very deeply stained within. Sinking to rise no more. But of the sea, he heard my despairing cry, and from the water, grace lifted me. Now, see, am I? Is there anybody who's glad for God's grace? Oh, I'm, 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 I'm in the Lord. When I didn't even want to be kept. Grace kept me when I didn't know I needed to be kept. Grace made it away before I know I needed it. And all he's looking for us to do. So I say is to learn our manners. And look back. And say. Your grace. Come on and say.
sing with grace. Come on and sing. Come on and sing. God extends us grace because he wants to. He got other options. But Muhammad, I'm so glad that every time I'm wasted, he keep on extending. So, 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 I know we on borrow time. But as we end this series of grace, it, it just dropped in my spirit if I could think of this one illustration between grace and mercy. Grace is giving us something we don't deserve. Mercy is holding back what we do deserve. Grace is holding, giving us something we don't deserve. And mercy is holding back. Here's the best illustration. I think I hope that we done a good justice in trying to explain grace. Thank y'all for coming out. God bless. Here's, here's, here's two more illustrations. If you don't know what grace and mercy is, okay. All right. Here, here's one. Anybody ever smoked cigarettes before? I'm, I'm gonna look. I'm gonna look at this guy. <laughs> Anybody? Okay. <laughs> this, what was that song? It says, is your something? Am I not going to Is your something? Okay, all right. Is your air. Is your air. That I breathe. That I breathe. Okay. She's in worship. She's in worship. She's in worship. So she's good. She's thinking about her grace. She's thinking about her young grace. Watch this. Grace is giving us something we don't deserve versus holding out what we do deserve. Can you imagine? The best illustration is that we're puffing a cigarette. And mercy is holding back the cancer. Mercy is holding back cancer because we deserve it for smoking. And grace is breathing in fresh air. That's not good enough. Okay, that's how it's smoke. Okay, all right.
They told us that this virus Tells that this virus is you can't. They might have walked into a room and forgot to have your mask all the way through. Yeah. And, and mercy. Come on. Give her my inhaler. I'm giving her my treatment. 
I know it's not what we're supposed to do. I mean, it's not what we're supposed to do. Yeah. I mean, we were not going to the hospital. We weren't going. So I'm giving her my uh, and my medicine she did. And what's interesting, I ran out of medicine, but I remember when David passed. David gave me all of this. Because it was just enough medicine to get us. So each day we would get up and very weak. It was rough and but every day we would just pray. And some days, why well, all I can do is say. Father, first, I, as pastor, as husband, as dad, as me, thank you. Before I even think about praying for anybody else, I want to thank you for me. Thank you for being patient with me. Thank, thank you, thank you for your grace around me. Thank you for grace itself. Now, God, we pray connectively. We 
We ask forgiveness for wasting, not appreciating, for taking advantage of your greed. God, some of us are probably at the place where our band is weakening. Our band is about to pop. And Father, we ask now for your repairing. This is John 1, 16. For we ask for your grace for grace. Repair our grace, please. You know our hearts. We don't want to waste your grace. Forgive us. You know, now we are appreciative of the grace we were given, the grace that we have, and the grace that is to come. Now that we understand, we have now have a greater appreciation of your grace. We thank you for your amazing grace. How sweet the sound that saved a wretch like us. We once was lost, but now we're found. We were blind to it, but now we see your grace. Your grace and mercy brought us through. We're living this moment only because of you. We want to thank you and praise you too for your grace and mercy. Board us. Board us through. It is in Jesus' gracious, grateful name that we pray. Amen. Will you put those grateful hands together? So there's another form now of how you can thank him. And you can thank him through your offer. It's grace giving. Grace giving. Grace giving. giving. So uh, we said that we were going to talk about it next Wednesday, uh, but we forgot we we're at winter break. And so instead of talking about grace giving on Wednesday, we're actually going to talk about grace giving on Sunday next week. So next week we'll end our, I know it's the past, it's Christmas. That's probably a great place to have grace giving. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Grace giving conversation. So next Sunday, next Sunday, uh, we are going to end, conclude grace uh, with grace giving, how we are gracefully given the opportunity to give. Amen. So that's on next Amen. Sunday. Uh, but right now, we can show our gratitude by giving. So let's Amen. give us offer time. It's offer time. Amen. We have two ways, three ways inside to give. But online, you have two ways to give. It should be on your screen. Um, so we thank you in advance for your seed and your offering. Remember, give based off of your greatest need. It may not be money, but it may be family. It may be health. So make sure you put a name on that seat up here of what is in need in your life. Amen. So Amen. don't forget, there is no Bible study for the rest of the year. There's Amen. no Bible. I heard a fool over here. Somebody got too excited over here. <laughs> over here. <laughs> the two point at each other, and you know what I'm logging anyway. So they they log they don't even they're excited for not having it. <laughs> so so no Bible study this Wednesday. Or next Wednesday, uh, and so uh, just be on the lookout uh, for any announcements that would come up regarding uh, regarding service. So yes, uh, yes. and so um, we are planning our New Year's Eve service. Our New Year's Eve service we're doing a collaboration, and so we'll be on the lookout for that information. Uh, and then coming soon, uh, we will have the state of the church address, and so I'll be meeting with our board of directors this Tuesday. Uh, and then after which information will be come, uh, for coming as to where do we go from here. Amen? Amen. 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 So if you, it's giving time, or they've already given, tell us quick. I mean, we ain't anybody, oh, let's do it they again. Do it oh, they, they, they got like 18 bundles over here. Tom, what you doing? Tom, asleep. What's your coffee cup? He got his cup. Okay, all right. All right, all right, all right, all right. Amen. They, 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 they
everybody had an opportunity to get one. She got like eight eight hundred dollars over here. You sit beside the CFO, just give it the order. Okay, no, no. Did you offer over here? Okay, all right. So, so, all right. Uh, I needed a bucket over here. That's a better job than this guy. They got people. Where, where the bucket? Come on, come on over here, Tommy. They, they, they. They fire all of you for the budget. They, 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 they. I know what I'm gonna do. If y'all don't do it right, y'all gotta make up the difference. All right, how about that? How about that? I bet they get it right too. Just a reminder um, if you want to register for the dance fitness for tomorrow, it's at the POC Monte at the church. She can register you for that. Um, also, my ladies, wellness checks. If you need to schedule a wellness check, um, we'll have someone here. At service to to schedule that schedule that for you as well. Yes, yes. And then lastly, uh, if if you know someone who really needs some clothes, we have a lot of clothes here at the church. Mm -hmm. Listen, don't 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 be too proud proud. But if you know someone, if you or if you know someone that need clothes, uh, we have Grace Closet. There is an abundance of clothes, and so uh, Dominique is in the back. He's like in the nosebleed section. But I mean, some ladies got all other seats. So <laughs> listen, if you need if you need clothes or know somebody need clothes, please get with Dominique and Angel. They have the Grace Closet. Uh, there's clothes that we have. I mean, they have nice clothes. I even went and stole some shoes. Amen. So I got some shoes out of there, and, and so clothes that they're really nice. Some stuff still have tags on them, and so if you know somebody need clothes, please. Uh, go through there, uh, go see one of them, and uh, we'll go from there. We have the food pantry. You need some food, so I need food. Amen. We have our Matthew 25 Alive Outreach, also known as Heaven Hands. Uh, Linda and my Betty are over here. Please see one of them. We don't want anybody uh, to have, have a need here at the church. Okay. And, and if you know somebody who has a need, please, please reach out to one of those individuals. We'll be happy to assist. Amen. Amen. Pray for people. Be with people during this season. Yes. Uh, yes. Depression is real. Yes. So yes. make sure that we are with uh, helping people as much as we can. Just show somebody the love of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Let us pass we can get out of here. Amen. Amen. We thank God for uh, just his grace for what God has yes. done. Yes. We thank God for what he's doing. And we thank God for what he's going to do. Amen. Amen. Come on, you gotta be better than that. Amen. 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 So, uh, oh, we'll, we'll read that next week. So we thank you, uh, Miss Miss uh, Evelyn White is just an amazing. Yes. Uh, she, I think she came by way of Thomas. She watches our service, and so she blesses us with a wonderful gift. And, and she that's not to tell nobody. So I ain't gonna tell nobody. Uh, <laughs> She blesses us almost every month. So we thank God for her. Thank God for her, her, her giving. And so, Father, we thank you uh, just for who you are. We thank you for your grace. Thank you, God. Thank you. We now have a, a new found appreciation for grace, traveling grace, covering grace. Thank you, God, your preventive grace, your serendipitous grace unforeseen grace. Thank you for your grace in general. Thank you, God. As we leave this place, we don't leave your gracious presence. As we take a step, we thank you. We don't just say our grace for the food. We thank our grace, thank you, say our grace for everything. You said in everything, give thanks. But we give grace for everything. And Father, I thank you in advance for just life. Thank you for, in advance for strength. We thank you in advance for victories won. We thank you because, God, even in our losses, you are protecting us. So, Father, we thank you for your protection and the loss of the Dallas game today. We thank you, God, because you will give Washington the victory. It is in Jesus' name we shout, Amen. Amen. Go in peace. I love